This is calculator question number 36. College Board gives us an equation for kinetic energy and they ask us to solve for V. If you are not comfortable with the physics, that should not be an issue. This is simply an equation and whatever the equation means, solve for V by itself. So I'm going to rewrite it. 200 over, one, 200 over 2 is 100. K equals 100 V squared. Divide both sides by 100 because I'm trying to get V by itself, and 100 over 100 is 1, so I have K over 100 equals V squared. And to get V by itself completely, I'm going to square root both sides. So this is square root of K over square root of 100 equals square root of V squared, which I'm going to write as V, because kinetic energy can't be negative, so I don't have to worry about the plus or minus. Although, since I can't grid in a negative and, and they say A is a positive constant, we don't have to worry about the negative whether or not we look at it that way. So I have root K over 10 equals V, which I can write it as 1 tenth root K equals V, or I could write that as 0 0.1, but I'm going to grid in 1 over 10 as my answer. College Board always asks you to take an equation and solve for one variable and solve it for a different variable. This is an important skill for the SAT exam and for your later, later college life. So make sure you're comfortable with this and come back soon for my next video with math there's always more.